weight at some point in today's workout. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we're gonna start off in our, in our strength portion. We'll have Cossack squats. We have um, unweighted or weighted side lunges. It kinda all depends on your movement how you feel in that movement, can you keep your chest up, do you have range of motion to get down um, in the position we want you to get into. So we're gonna do 30 seconds, once we get through our warm up, we'll do 30 seconds of those Cossack squats or side lunges to one side, which will be anywhere from six to eight reps probably, because um, we should be on nice, slow and controlled. Then we're gonna rest about 30 seconds after we do 30 seconds on each side. Then we're gonna go to side plank rotation, rotations, hitting that core. 30 seconds, or yeah, 30 seconds each side, and then we're going to go 30 second rest, and then we'll roll through that three times, okay? Or four times, I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Um, and then we'll get into our conditioning piece today, and we have about 20 minutes. We're gonna do 30 seconds of um, basically ground or hang to shoulder to overhead on one side for 30 seconds, then we'll go to the other side ground to shoulder to overhead, and then we're gonna go directly into one minute of thruster, squatting and pressing. Rest one minute, 60 seconds of sit-ups, rest one minute, and then we'll go through that four times, which will be one, two, three, four, be 20 minutes, all right? So because we have two minutes of rest in there, um, that two minutes that we're working on the, on the clean to shoulder to overhead, should be maximum reps on one side, maximum reps on the other side, and maximum reps on our thrusters because then we got a nice rest in there before we do our sit-ups, all right? So let's go ahead and start on the ground. We're gonna warm the hamstrings, low back and hips up. So make your way to the floor, <clears throat> hands out to the side, flex those toes back, keep your legs as straight as possible, bring that leg all the way up and set it down. Start off nice and slow, for five reps. And we don't wanna, we don't wanna throw that leg up so much that this leg pops off the ground. So just take your time with it. Get a nice stretch in, just warm the hamstrings up. All right, and then we're gonna go to the other side. And then we're going to go iron crosses. So hands are out to the side, that right foot comes up to the left hand or above the left hand. Swing it around to the other side. And we're gonna do 10 reps here. And bring those feet underneath your hips or underneath your knees, sorry, closer to your butt. Drive the hips up. So we're gonna do five hip bridges here. Hold that fifth one at the top, extend the left leg out, slowly lower down and up five times on the right leg. Set that foot down, extend the right leg out, slowly lower five times here. All right, then we're gonna flip over into a tabletop position. <clears throat> Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna start off with thread the needle, so we're gonna reach up, open up the chest, Bring that hand all the way through, shoulder, head to the ground. Reach that left arm out. About three to five deep breaths here. And then we're going to 
Do five reps. So reach up and then thread it through, shoulder and head to the ground, and then back up. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Reach up. Thread that arm all the way through, shoulder to the ground, head to the ground. You can extend that other arm overhead if you want. Holding here for three to five breaths. And then we're gonna go ahead and do five reps. Then we're gonna go and lay face down, forehead on the ground. We're gonna start warming those shoulders up because we will be going overhead quite a bit once we get started and we have side plank rotation. So we're gonna go through our I, Y, T, W's and A's. We're going to pump five times first and hold for five seconds in an I and then go to a Y and do the same thing. Once we get all the way through, then we're gonna swim through them five times, all right? So thumbs together, hands overhead, we're gonna pump one, two, three, four, five, and hold. Take those hands out into a Y, and pump one, two, three, four, five, and hold. Into a T, one, two, three, four, five, and hold. Into a W, bring your hands in towards your head, forearms or elbows to the ground, squeezing the scap together five times, and hold. Take those hands, palms are facing up, backs of the hands are down, fingertips are reaching down towards your feet, tap the back of the hands to the ground and pump five times, and hold. Still pressing down, depressing those shoulders down. Now, without putting your hands on the ground, swim it all the way up into an I, out into a Y, a T, a W, and an A. That's one time. Don't let those hands hit the ground. Swim it up, I, Y, T, W, A. Swim it up, I, Y, T, W, a, two more, I, Y, T, W, A, last one, I, Y, T, W, A. Bring those hands underneath the armpits, next to the chest, flip the toes, press up into a plank position, and then back into a downward dog. Drive those heels into the ground, about 10 times here. Start to wake those calves up, hamstrings up, hips, low back. So we're gonna wave forward, all right? Instead of just transitioning into plank and leaving our back flat, we're gonna come way up on our toes. Press that spine, so pull your belly button in, rounding the spine, pressing it up towards the uh, sky. And then we're going to switch and roll forward into a plank and then press through the ground, rolling the spine back into downward dog. Drive the heels down, come way up on those toes, get as much height out of that spine as you can as you shift back into plank. And then wave it back into downward dog, drive the heels to the ground. Two more times here, way up on the toes, all the way to plank, and all the way up, back into downward dog. Ooh, one more time. Now we're gonna walk our feet to our hands, 
Take a nice deep breath in, all the way up. Right hand meets the left wrist. We're gonna pull to the right side. Definitely wanna make sure we take care of our low back, our hips, our glutes, your shoulders today. Reach up, grab the other side, pull to the left. Reach up nice and tall. We're gonna forward fold all the way down. Plant the hands on the ground. Step back into plank. Slowly lower ourselves down to the ground. Into an up dog. Flip the toes into downward dog. Right, flip that right heel up. Drive the left heel to the ground. Shift the weight forward. Bring the right knee to the right elbow. And hold. Float that leg back up. Bring that right knee to the left elbow, cross the body and hold. Float it back up. And then swing it through into a runner's lunge. Straighten that front leg, lift the toe, back into your lunge. Straighten the front leg, lift the toe, back into your lunge. Straighten your leg, lift the toe, back into your lunge. One more time here, straighten the leg, lift the toe, back into your lunge. Now, place that left hand inside the instep of the right foot, reach up with your right hand. Replace your left hand with your right hand, reach up to the other side. And we're gonna go side to side here three times. And three times on each side anyway. Six total. All right, now push off that back foot into a balance onto your right. 10 single leg touchdowns. And when you're done, Step back into your lunge, back into, your, back into that runner's lunge. Slide the foot back. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Back into an up dog or a cobra. Flip your toes, downward dog. Other side, flip the left heel up, right heel goes down. Shift that weight, left knee to left elbow and hold. Float it up. Opposite elbow and hold. Float it up. Swing it through. Hang out here for about five seconds, 10 seconds. Straighten that front leg, lift the toe. Back into that lunge. Straighten the leg, lift the toe. Back into your lunge. Two more times, straighten the leg, lift the toe. Back into that lunge. Straighten the leg, lift the toe. Back into your lunge. Right hand goes on the instep of the left foot. Reach up to the left hand. Bring it down, go to the other side. And six times total, three on each side. And then when you're done, we're gonna press off that back foot, right up onto that left leg to a balance, hopefully. And then 10 single leg touchdowns. And then you're just gonna bring your feet together, step it out into a squat stance. Take a nice deep breath in, slowly lower down, grab the front of your shoes or toes, drop your butt down, and we'll do 10 gorilla squats here at your own pace. Dropping your head, straightening your legs, and back down. Just good for opening the hips, stretching out the back a little bit.
We are fairly heavy intensive on the legs today, so we want to take care of them. And then once you're done, you'll roll it up and shake that out. On the Cossack squats, remember, we have a really, really wide stance here and our toes aren't going straight ahead. They're going out slightly, just like a sumo stance, right? And you'll know whether or not you're wide enough because if you get too close, you can't lunge. It's awkward to lunge. And you want to get those feet way out wide so that when your hands are up here or you're holding weight and you lunge, your torso stays upright. If your feet are too close, you'll start to bend over or lean forward and you can't get depth. You can't set your butt back, all right? So we're gonna start the first set with no weight. Hands are gonna be overhead. We're gonna go 30 seconds here. You can lift that toe up and go onto the heel to get a little bit more depth if you have the mobility to do it. And then we're gonna go to the other side for 30 seconds. And then we'll rest 30 seconds. And then we'll go into our side plank rotations. After the first set, if you feel comfortable adding weight, go ahead and add weight, okay? Let's see here. It's very quiet in here today because I don't have any music. So, all right. Going in 10 seconds. Get those feet out nice and wide. Remember, hands are up in the air. We don't want them falling forward. And go. Coming down. Stay into that left side. Do all your reps on one side first. You could also cross your arms here into like that genie position. And switch to the other side. Remember setting your butt down and back, just like a squat. Just happen to be lunging to one side. And rest. So after going through that without weight, you can imagine how challenging and how intense that could be with weight. So we're going down 15 seconds here. Really focusing on those abdominals. If you can't twist and reach up under control, just hold that side plank for 30 seconds. Elbows right up underneath the shoulder. Side plank position, and go. Reach back and up. And switch. Make a nice transition. Make sure that elbow is right up underneath the shoulder before you keep going. Make your adjustments as you need to. And rest. Second rest here. If you can add weight to your cossack squats, add weight. I'm gonna try it. Going to one side first. Three, 
two, one, and go. And other side. And rest. <clears throat> Going back to our side plank rotations. Ten seconds here. Doesn't really matter what side you start on, just make sure you get 30 seconds on both sides. Here we go, and go. And switch it up. It's so quiet. And rest. Back to your feet. We're going back to our caustic squats. Pretty sure we're going four rounds of this, so. And this thing's starting to get slick. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, and go. Nice and slow, controlled, trying to get depth in that squat or lunge. And other side. And rest. Ooh. All right, that was three. We'll have one more of those cut up, going back to our side plank rotation. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, here we go. Go ahead and get set up in your side plank. Elbows right up underneath that shoulder, and go. And 
switch. And rest. All right, last set. 30 seconds. That sounded heavier than it is. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one and go. And rest. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Last side plank rotation. Man. All right, going five seconds. Gonna get in that side plank. Three, two, one, and go. Switch it up. Get right into it. Rest. Man, it's hot. Again, everything is timed out. So we'll start on your non-dominant side. You either go to the ground, to your shoulder, and then overhead, control it back to your shoulder, back to the hips, and then back down. Okay, or from the hang position, to the shoulder, to overhead, control the weight back to your shoulder. So, okay, so it can be a somewhat fast movement from down low to the shoulder to overhead. Make sure you're controlling that weight back down to your shoulder, okay? We'll do 30 seconds on this side, 30 seconds on this side, and then we'll go into one minute of thrusters, squatting, and pressing. Then we'll have one minute of rest, and then one minute of sit-ups, all right? Whatever kind of sit-ups. I like knees bent, feet flat on the floor, sitting up, chest touches the quads, or feet together, knees butterflied out, shoulders touch the ground in the back, come all the way up and touch your toes, all right? Which is, I need to get an ab mat. All right. 
I'll mess myself up if I don't restart this. All right, so remember, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, one minute of thrusters, then one minute of rest, then one minute of max rep sit-ups, one minute of rest, and we go through that four times. All right, going in 10 seconds. I like to start on that non-dominant side. Non-working hands out to the side, and go. And switch, other side. And thrusters. Twenty five seconds. And rest. One minute rest. Shake those arms out. Ooh. We got about 30 seconds here. So our feet are either flat on the ground, coming up, touching our quads, or feet are together, knees are out, all the way up. If for some reason this really messes with your tailbone, you can do leg lifts to a hip press instead. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Thirty seconds. And rest. Minute rest here. Let's see.
We got 15 seconds here. Round number two. Non working hands out to the side. Three, two, one, and go. Switch. And thrusters. Thirty seconds. <sighs> and rest. Who? Thirty seconds here. Whew. Man. Here we go. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one. And go. And rest. Oh man. One minute rest. Sip of water if you need it. Oh.
All right, we got about 20 seconds here. If you're like me, don't touch your clothes and then try to grab your weight. Because it just slides right out of your hand. All right, five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and switch. Three, two, one, and thrusters. And rest. Ah. It's getting harder to recover. Thirty seconds. Good thing is we don't have to go through that one more time. Ten seconds. Here we go. Going in three, two, one, and go. Count your reps here. Try to beat it or meet it every round. And rest. 35 every round, where are you? Oh my gosh. Lucky us, last round. Seconds. Oh, I guess I'm my. 
Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, switch. This thing is getting really slick. Thrusters, one minute. Huh. Rest. Twenty seconds. I'm going for thirty five plus this time. Ah. What are you going to get to? Count your reps. Three, two, one, and go. Thirty seconds. And rest. Oh. Ah. Oh, my ass. We're going to take a minute here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab those knees and just roll back and forth here. Massaging that spine out about five to ten times. Grab that right knee, straighten the left leg out. Flexing those toes back towards you. Take your left hand outside that right knee. 
drop it to the left side. Looking out over your right shoulder, right hand. About five deep breaths here. Every time you exhale, try to relax and let that knee get closer and closer to the ground. Once you're done with those five breaths, bring everything back in. You're gonna massage that spine one more time, about five times. Hold on to the left knee, extend the right leg out, flex those toes back towards you. Go ahead and take that right hand outside the left knee, bring it across the right side, across the body. Looking out over the left shoulder, left fingertips. About five deep breaths here. On your exhale, let that knee get closer and closer to the ground. back up, grab both knees, massage that spine one more time, five times. All right, we're going to flip over into a tabletop, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, about five cat cows here at your own breath, nice deep breath in, extending the hips back, opening the chest up. Letting the rib cage fly open a little. And then bring everything together, getting as much height out as you can. Crunching your chest down, bringing your hips in. Maybe shift your hips side to side a little bit here. Five reps at your breath. And then we're going to place that left hand in front of our face, reach up nice and tall, thread the needle just like we did in our warm-up, shoulder to the ground, head to the ground, extend your left arm out as much as you can, getting a stretch to the shoulder, low back. If you want, you can take this hand behind your back, open up your chest a little bit for a little extra stretch. It's a little too intense for me today, so I'm going to stay right here. About five breaths here. About 10 to 15 more seconds. We're gonna slide that hand into the face. Bring that other hand, in front, the right hand in front of the face, reach up nice and tall. Thread the needle through. Shoulder to the ground, head to the ground. Slide that right hand out above you. Or place that hand between your, like in your small part of your back and then try to open up that chest. All right, slide that hand underneath you, come back up. Now we're going to get into a child's pose here. I'm gonna go wide knees, right? Really wide knees here. Get that weight out of the way. Ooh. Pressing those hips back into the heels. We're gonna hold here for about 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go to the right side, hold for 20. Left side, hold for 20. So slowly start walking over to the right, stack the left hand on top. Driving the hand into the ground, pressing the hips back into the heels. After 20 seconds, come over to the left side, hand on top. We're 
gonna bring those hands in, sit up into a kneeling position, shake those arms out. And we're gonna do one, less si one last side stretch here. So my left hand's gonna go down towards the ground, right hand's gonna go up overhead. We're gonna lean to the side. See if you can touch your fingertips or hands to the ground as you're stretching out that side body. And then we're gonna come back up, go to the other side. We'll go back and here, fourth year, three to five times on each side, depending on how tight you are. So you're stretching at your own pace here. Now I'm gonna shake it out one last time. Whoo! Awesome job, guys. Way to end the week. Didn't look like that challenging on paper, but it's challenging.